What's up guys? It's Lindsay and today I'm going to do Lindsay's Declassified School Survival Guide Zoom Edition. So here's some tips to help you with your Zoom classes. Let's go! Alright guys, starting off with tip number one, set up a section in your house or your preferred area of learning that is separate from the rest of the room. This will be your type of school zone where you'll try to train your brain to know that when you sit down in this space, your mind will be in school mode. Moving right along to tip number two, make sure the space behind you is appropriate and clear from clutter or distractions. So really try to check your surroundings because the space behind you will most likely be visible to your Zoom members. So make sure you're comfortable with them seeing what's behind you and remove things that you probably wouldn't like them to see. Next up on the list, tip number three, get out of your bed or your couch. Come on, get up, get out. You know it will be better for you and move to your school zone or desk. This will train your mind to be alert and enter that school mode that I mentioned earlier. All right guys, tip number four, close your blinds. This isn't a critical tip, but the light shining behind you can reflect a nasty blur on your Zoom screen, and it can make it very difficult for others to see you. So close up your shades. All right, tip number five, guys. Create a nice lighting source in front of you so that you can easily be seen by others. This can be a lamp or a ring light if you want to get fancy. Whatever you choose, just make sure you're easily seen by your other Zoom members. Rolling on to tip number six, limit your distractions around you. Yes, this means either turning it off your phone or putting it on do not disturb, doing the same with your other devices and trying to limit your tabs on your internet browser. Change from your PJs into school clothes. All right, this tip comes straight from Professor Eckdale at the University of Iowa. Stay organized. Keep an assignment notebook or calendar so you can jot down assignments and exams that are in your schedule. This way you will know what's going on in the future and can plan your weeks accordingly. Tip number nine, and my personal favorite, get out and get moving. After hours inside, your body needs a break and needs to get moving. Try to go outside for a run or do your favorite form of exercise to clear your mind and make yourself feel better. And last but not least, communicate. Really communicate with your professors early and often. Try to communicate as often as possible if you're having difficulty with your classes and try to communicate regularly to keep on pace with your courses. And that's all she wrote, folks. We're all dealing with some challenging times right now, but I hope these tips help you to continue to succeed in your classes. See ya.